Welcome back to The Couch. We're talking travel with Steve Collins. He's just come back from South Africa. Welcome back. Oh, thanks, Fred. I had the best time. Thank now, you very thanks much. thanks to South African Airlines. They flew uh, well, there. South African Tourism took me over there. Ooh. Yeah, I flew South African Airlines because that's the most direct way to get there from Perth. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was just a fantastic experience. I had two and a half weeks over there. But one of the best experiences, yep. we did many things, but the one I'm going to talk about today is Madikwe Game Reserve. And this Madikwe. is about an hour's flight uh, northwest of Johannesburg. It's right on the border with Botswana. And it is, you've heard about these game reserves where you go to and you get up and, and see all the animals in the wild. This was it. This now is Madikwe. I did ask you, were, this were was you far away from the animals? Well, no, no. Th this is us going to our lodge. We just wow. landed. And that's... Uh, Amand, our guide, driving the, uh, driving the Jeep. These are all outfitted so that they can take passengers. Yep. This is my lodge. This is the oh, lodge. This is Jackie's just a lodge. symbol acquaintance. It's just beautiful. This was a little sitting area. And it's built like a big tree house. That's, you sit around that, that fire at night. That looks good. And, it's just, and you're so isolated from everyone else there. This is my room. You can see, you see that great big bar from that big Are they air-conditioned, Steve? Uh, uh, yes, it was air-conditioned. And this is the outdoor shower. It's just fantastic. Was it warm? Uh, um, well, it's warm during the day, but when you go out, uh, you go out very in the early in the morning when it That's is cold, cold, and you go out very late in the afternoon cool. because the animals aren't as stupid as us. They know to sleep in the middle of the day, so there's no point in going out. But one of the great things I did, I was involved in a rhino conservation project. Wow. And this is because what they're trying to do is they're trying to preserve and protect the rhinoceroses because there are still poachers around now. Luckily for Badikwe, there aren't a lot. See, there's me with this. Uh, this has been drugged. Is that a this, uh, rhinoceros? I, th that's, a, that's a real rhinoceros. It's a female, about three months old. Uh, sorry, three mm. years old, weighs 1.4 tonne. That's, uh, that's those grizzled journos, that I, travel journos that I went with. But what they do is... Uh, this has been untagged, so what they, they need to keep a record of every rhino they have. They mm. can't do that when they're too small, and it's to preserve them. What so they why do are is, they poaching them? What, what do they pay? Are they the well, food for the, for the, or the horn? The horn. For the That's horn. What it is. Okay. Um, but what, what? So what they do is they take their DNA, they take some blood, they take a sample of horn, they take other things, and they also put a little chip in them, not so they can track them, but so they can keep a record of them. It's, yeah. it's too hard to track them. It's more for uh, because education. these these poachers are. Uh, uh, are very, very sophisticated. Oh, wow. And I'm not allowed to give out any information about where we did it or, or who was involved. I can't show photos because of those who were involved. Because people would go there. Because in the past, like the vets that have been filmed, uh, the poachers gone after them and killed them and stuff like that. They're, they're very, very brutal, these poachers. So they keep, uh, they keep a good record of the rhinos. I'm just thinking, anyone that knows you now can come <laughs> look for you on the couch. Well, they can look for me. But you might have noticed I was there with the rhino. I had my hand inside the rhino's mouth. This yeah. was a living rhino. And it was a most wonderful experience because just checking to make sure that it's still breathing. Uh, and uh, and I, had a, I had a good chance to have a look at this rhino. And the feet there... These things, they are so cute and, and so tiny. And yeah, you know, when you get up Petite. really close to them, they're lovely animals. Yeah. They are just beautiful. They're not as rough and big as they look. No, tough. not as rough. Well, well, they are as big as they look, but but uh, they're beautiful What's when you the get up to them. Skin feel like uh, the skin was uh, was fairly hard yeah. um, because it needs to because uh, in, in the environment they work in, uh, they live in. Uh, all the bushes are very, very thorny. Yes, yes. And you could see scratches on the skin, and Amazing. that was just it walking past the bushes. But I saw such a great range of animals there mm -hmm. going out on the safari. We've got some amazing photos. Too. We do have some amazing photos. You go out early. Oh, look, there's a warthog. There, that's a cute little cute thing. This is one of the top five. This is a water buffalo. And yeah. um, that's one of the top oh. five. Uh, that's a wildebeest. Wildebeest. All these zebras, zebra, zebra. herds of zebras everywhere, just a, a wonderful. Oh, they look beautiful. And they're, they're the most magnificent animals when you, when you see them. Could, you touch, could you touch these animals? You I, no, you're that? not allowed. Well, you're not, not allowed to. There's more rhinos that's, in the wild. That's massive. <coughs> no, you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to touch them because they're wild animals. Yeah, you yeah. never know what they're going to do. Um, and these are very wild dogs. We saw these. These oh, are wow. very, very rare. There's only a very few wild dogs left in South Africa. Sort of like a dingo, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're a little bit wilder than a dingo. Oh, giraffe. Giraffes. Wonderful, wonderful animals. These are the most elegant animals that you can see. The way they move is fantastic. 
This giraffe oh. is cleaning its ear on the twig at the How top clever. of a tree. And here we go, the elephant. What's he cleaning? Well, I, I, well, no, you see, he's, he's got all the red dust because oh. what they do is they throw the dust on him. Now, there's Xander. He's one of our guides. He sits in the front. Oh, wow. Uh, now, the lions, I was within just a few feet of these lions. They were two oh, males. Man, they were brothers. They were juveniles. They had killed a zebra, and I was so close. And the reason I can get so close is because that's yawning, by the way. It's not growling yep. at me. The reason we could get so close is because they had eaten well. They'd eaten their share of the zebra. And you can see the, the zebra cut. I wasn't going to show that. Mm. Um, uh, but there were a couple of jackals, jackals hanging around mm. waiting for the lions to get to sleep so they could have a go at the zebra. Unfortunately for the jackals, I think the, the lions sort of keep watch. You know, they, they, they operate in pairs mm. um, to hunt. Um, and because they're brothers, you know, they, 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 they get on with each other. But look, you have these experiences the whole time. You go out really early in the morning, it is cold, mm. and then the, the day heats up. In the, in the middle of the day, you can do whatever you want. You go back to the lodge and you can have a swim. There's a swimming pool yep. or whatever. Uh, and then late afternoon, you go out. But you know, one of the best things about it was you go out there, you do this wildlife viewing, and, and on the way back to the lodge, you'll stop somewhere safe and you'll have cocktails. Wow. You'll have your G&T and you've, the stars, the, the skies open up. There's no ambient light. There's just... Beautiful it's out amazing there. when you talk about these mm. reserves. I, yeah. I know we did one in South, um, yeah. sorry, in Sri Lanka. Yeah. And I think we saw one animal right at the end. It's nice when oh, you, no. like you saw a but, lot but of But you animals. see, uh, as well as Jackie's Lodge, there are 33 lodges in Medikwe. It's 75,000 hectares. It's the fifth largest game reserve. And they've all got accommodation. Yeah. And they've all got accommodation. But they all keep in contact with each other because it's in their best interest mm. to cooperate to make sure their guests get the best viewing. So, so your guide is, is, is on the radio though, and listening and saying, no, like, and, and they know all the roads yeah. and tracks and all that, so they just say, oh, look, we've seen wild dogs here, come over and see them. Well, Where you know, can well, people get more information about that? Uh, the, the, best, the best is to go to Jackie's, Jackie's Lodge or Medikwe uh, uh, Game Reserve, which, mm. uh, uh, or, or just contact South Africa Tourism or go and see your local travel agent because, really, mm. it is one of the best, best experiences I've had. It was overwhelming. Oh, it fantastic. was just so thrilling. If you missed those details, you can always go to Steve's website as well, which I think we've got on screen. Did we have that one? Steve, uh, Steve Collins, yes, travel correspondent.com. There it is. Hello, there Steve, you're coming back in the next couple of weeks to do a couple more on South oh, Africa. I've got so much more to do on South Africa. You... I have done... It was, look, it's an amazing, it's an amazing destination. And you know what? The, the, the most intriguing part for me was that for Australians, it's a very, very cheap destination. Wow. It's amazing. Now, see, I thought it would be expensive. No, because uh, it's because of the exchange rate between the South African Rand and the Aussie dollar. It makes it a really good destination for us to go to. And, of course, if you're from Perth, of course, it's cheap. Just how far was it? Just Indian curiosity, Asia. how long? Uh, the, the flight was just over 11 hours going and it's only nine hours coming back. That's Fantastic. because of the, the, the winds, you know. And probably best to do it with South, Austra uh, South African Airlines. Well, South African Airlines are, the, are certainly the most Beautiful. direct to go there, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic destination. I look forward to seeing you in the next couple of weeks, talk some more about South oh, absolutely. Africa. I've got some real, I've seen, got some real treasures oh, for you coming up. He goes on an amazing train trip, yeah. luxury train trip. We'll, we'll talk to him very soon. Thank you, Steve. Thanks very much, Fred. Now, talking about...